I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. John the Baptist and what he teaches us about doubt. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Get our app. It's available on all major platforms and donate your tax deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us filling the ears of youth all over the world with the saving power of the gospel. And we all need this gospel in these dark times. The third Sunday in Advent gives us doubt and John the Baptist. And so when John heard in prison about the deeds of the Christ, he sent word by his disciples and said to him, are you the one who is to come or should we look for another? John got a prophet's reward, jail, isolation, the loneliness of no one being around you, the sadness of having done a good task and seeming to be punished for it. He wasn't going to get out of prison. He would die by the whim of Herod's daughter. And now he sends his, his disciples to Jesus with the question, are you the Advent one? Are you the coming one? Or should we look for another? Lots of ink has been spilled on this, and we're not going to get into whether John's doubting or not. Um, I don't think it's really the issue. What he does with his question is the issue. John, you could make an argument, couldn't possibly doubt. He saw the father's... Um, heard the father's voice. He saw the dove descend upon Jesus at his baptism. He knew Jesus to be the lamb of God who had taken away the sins, who would take away the sins of the world. He knew Jesus exactly what he is. And he, and he preached and proclaimed him the sandals of whom I'm not worthy to stoop down and untie. He also had said he must increase. I must decrease. Now that happened. That's a horse of another. That's a whole different ball game. When you're diminished, it can, it can rattle you. And everything about his life would appear that there is doubt. He sends his apostles with the uh, disciples with the question, are you the one to come or should we look for another? He's going to die there. But like I said, that's not the issue. The issue is where he teaches us to send our questions. We're in the Advent season and with Advent, our eyes are fixed on the coming of the Lord. We take a hard look at ourselves, the rough valleys of our life. We fill up with his words, the mountains of our life. We let his law knock down so that we could be better prepared, huh? so that he could make us better prepared for his coming. And so we take our doubts, we take our despair, we take our questions, not inside ourselves, but to Jesus. And that's what, his, what John's disciples do. Are you the one who is to come or should we look for another? And Jesus answered them, go tell John what you hear and what you see. The blind receive their sight, the lame are walking, the, la the, la the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised up. And the poor have the good news preached to them. Blessed is the one who's not offended on account of me. And this is such a key. John, whether he's doubting or not, directs us to Jesus. And Jesus directs us to his work and his words. What he's doing for us, everything that he's doing for us is to save us. Everything with his holy life and his bitter sufferings and death is to call us out of our sins so that we could be saved in him. And so John teaches us on this third Sunday in Advent to direct our questions, our thoughts, our doubts, everything to Jesus and his words, to look at Jesus rather than to look at us, to take Jesus' certainty about, about salvation and make it our certainty, and to take Jesus' words about us, that we are, even us, we're forgiven. To take that to the bank. You see, because that's what saves and the only way to truly be ready for Advent, the only way to truly be ready for our Lord's coming Christmas 
is to have Jesus' words be the final say. Because the one who's truly prepared is the one who knows who they're waiting and watching for. Think about it. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Let's follow John the Baptist's pointing to Jesus. And this has been another Higher Things video short.